Handout 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.1, number 53. And here we were asked to write an explicit formula for this sequence, but instead of being given um, just our terms written out, we were given them in a graph form. So what's happening here is that when you see this x coordinate, that's referring to your subscript, the index in your sequence, right? So a sub 1 is equal to 0.5, which is why you see, oops, excuse me, that term written out that way. If you see here, a sub 2 is equal to 1, which is why you see me writing that term, right? So then we can see a sub 3 is equal to 2, a sub 4 is equal to 4, a sub 5 is equal to 8. So let me just write these out in front of the actual terms so you can see what I'm referencing. This one gets squeezed in, a sub 2 is 1, and a sub 1, you can write it as 0.5 or just the fraction 1 half. So that's where this stuff oops, is coming from. Let me erase all that because it's a little, a little messy. So that's where I'm getting these terms in the sequence. And then when I look at that sequence, I can see powers of 2 because I see 2, 2 squared, and 2 cubed, right? So here's 2 to the 1, here's 2 squared, here's 2 cubed. This would then be 2 to the 0. I can see that pattern, and sure enough, this is 2 to the negative 1. So what I can also see is whatever the index is here, that's my power, or excuse me, my exponent is 2 less than that. So I see 5 getting mapped to 3. I see 4 getting mapped to 2. I see 3 getting mapped to 1, right? So I am losing 2 as I go from my subscript to my exponent. And that, that's why you see me writing this as a sub n is 2 to the power of n minus 2. All right, and that's how we do 53. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.